comparison contrast with Malik, or did you think he gave you a better chance in this game tonight? Well, probably a little bit of both last week, just kind of seeing. Um, you know, really it was, a, it was a great opportunity to evaluate Josh, and you know, then we'll make a decision going forward. Um, I thought he did some good things. I thought he'd you know, certainly like to have a couple throws back, but yeah, we'll kind of see where things are here. When, when did you guys know you, he was going to be the guy tonight? Early in the week, I told him. Uh, he, did, he threw it out the course of the game. You know, I mean, there were times where, you know, when it was obviously passing downs. But I thought there was times for Josh to progress through and move the ball downfield. You know, I think Traylon got held. You know, I think his left arm got grabbed. Um, same guy that called Paul's 50-yard pass interference penalty. Didn't see it the same way on our sidelines. I don't know what to tell you. But I thought there were opportunities where we could have helped, um, you know, Josh out as well. Uh, we couldn't come down with a catch, but there was also other times where we, we made plays down the field and you know, hit the screen versus pressure and, and all those things. I thought. You know, Hassan had one of the better runs of the year on fourth and two. You know, ran over a really good player and fell forward for a first down. Yeah. He didn't get the win tonight. But was there anything that you took away as maybe positive momentum moving into this yeah. last game? I thought, you know, I mean, there was things when we when we didn't beat ourselves or we didn't extend drives with penalties or you know, third down was a little disappointing. You know, I thought we stopped the run. You know, with whoever we had in there, whoever, whatever group, whatever front, um, stopped the run. They even you know, the one had the one big one. It would have been much less than that if we would have just you know, done our job and you know, been where we were supposed to be, and we wouldn't have given up the long one. I think that was a positive. And certainly, the, the penalties are, are negative. Um, being able to avoid you know, some of those. Um, you know, offensively, I thought we got into a rhythm. I thought we we kept competing. You know, we need to run the football better, but. You know, man, it's kind of been where we've been the last couple of weeks is doing some good things, just not consistently enough, and, and then unfortunately, you know, beating ourselves in the margin for error when you do that, it's, it's pretty thin. I mean, I think we just have to get get some guys back healthy, um, clean up some of the little details that show up. You know, you only get one opportunity sometimes with with a call on offense or defense versus the same exact look. It's going to happen in the game and. If you don't hit it, you can't say, well, don't darn it, we'll just rep it again in practice. And I think we've had far too many of those, but we'll, we'll, be, we'll get them cleaned up. Um, we'll have to eliminate big plays on defense, we'll run the football, take care of it. Yeah. Same thing we always say, just do a little bit more consistently. And I'm excited, excited to watch these guys walk back in the building next week, energized, recovered, Rested. I'm excited.